In this video, I will demonstrate how to package a file. Packaging files is really important because the fonts and images used when you created your InDesign document must be available to the printer. First, I'm going to do a pre-flight check to ensure that all of the images are linked and the fonts are available and the text frames are open. So my pre-flight is right down here. Look, I can already see that there is one error. Let me see if I can find what that is. I'll go to the pre-flight panel. I see here it has to do with text. I'm going to open that caret. It says there's overset text somewhere. Let me look to see where it is. It says that it's on page two. By double clicking, I'll go to that text frame. There it is. Look, I can see the plus symbol here. So I'm going to open up this text frame. And there's the rest of my text. Now it says there are no errors in my pre-flight. So I can close that. Looking again down here, I see that there are no errors. I'll just take a peek in my links panel. And I can see that I have four images used here. There's no indication that the images are missing, so I'm fine with my links. Now I'm going to go to the File menu and choose Package. So in reviewing this, I can see that I've got four images linked. They're all four there. None of them are modified and none of them are missing. None of them are inaccessible. None of them are embedded. They're all linked, and that's important. All four of them use RGB color space. What's important about that? Well, if my printer is using CMYK, I'll have to go in and change that. But my printer is using RGB, so I'm all fine. I'm going to choose Package. And it's telling me that my publication needs to be saved because I did make that change. So I'm going to save it. And now it's creating the folder for me. The folder is named exactly what it was last named when I saved it. I'm going to change the V to 4. This is my version 4 of the postcard. And the folder says it's going to be saved to my downloads. I would prefer that it be saved to my desktop. So now it's going to be on my desktop. I want to make sure it copies all of the fonts and it says accept the ones activated from Adobe fonts. We'll address that in a second. It's got all my linked graphics. It's going to update the graphic links. I want to include the fonts and the links from any hidden content. And I want to include an IDML. That stands for InDesign Markup Language. It will create a copy of this InDesign document as an InDesign markup language document, just in case the person who's printing it doesn't have the version of InDesign that I have. I'm also going to have an, a PDF included, and I would like for that PDF to be press quality. Now I'll choose package. So I should find that package document on my desktop. There is the Actum underscore 19 postcard version 4 folder. If I look inside there, I'll see the IDML document, the InDesign document, and the PDF. Here also I have my fonts and my links. So it looks like I'm all set here. The only caveat is that if you did use Adobe fonts from your uh, accessible to you from your Creative Cloud account, then when you open this file on another computer in another location, you'll need to log into your Adobe account and access those fonts.